Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about text summarization. Text summarization is where you take a bunch of text and then make a smaller amount of text that actually summarize the text that you were reading. And we have a long text up here about Johnny Christopher Depp. And it's quite a lot of information here about Mr. Depp. They have summarized this, if I run it, if I get a much smaller one down here. John Christopher Depp, the, third, uh, the second, born June 9, 1963, is an American actor, producer, and magician. He is regarded as one of the world's biggest film stars. Depp has uh, made his film debut in the 1984 film Nightmare at Elm Street before rising to prominence in the teen, uh, as a teen idol on the television series 21 Jump Street. So it actually has summarized the thing up here and it has picked the most important things from the uh, phrase above. And how does it do that? Well, it actually uses a model. So if we go through the code here, I will not run the code because it will use the graphics card that I'm using to record at the moment, but uh, we add a summarizer, we add transformers, and we can either use a BERT model or an Albert model. And I'm trying an Albert model here. So there's an Albert tokenizer and Albert model. And the tokenizer is to take the text and make it into words pretty much or tokens that could be used in order to create the summarized version. And the model is what we are running on those tokens. So in order to read this model in, we can either choose a model pre-built and uh, available on Hugging Face, and then we just supply the name here and it will download it and run it on our system. But the Albert model that was available there, the base model was the small one and I wanted to use the best one, the large, ex extra large one. And that was not available as a downloadable link, so I downloaded the package. And in order to run it, we also need to set this output hidden state to true. Very important, if we don't do that we get a very weird bug. And I don't really know why that bug is there, but it didn't work for me. And it took a long time for me to figure that one out. And if we run the Albert model here, we say that with custom model is the Albert model, the custom tokenizer is the tokenizer. And then we have a random state here. We can set whatever integer we want here. And that is just that we get uh, some randomizer when we are creating things so it can actually find a good uh, state for the model and if you change this value you will get a little bit different uh, result in the summarization so if you're not uh, satisfied with your summarization you can change the random states a little bit and you get a different value then we can run this Albert model with the supplied text say how many words we want as a minimum so at least 10 words and I want only a percent of the text so this is perhaps a little bit more than a percent of the text, but it has least more than 10 words. And then I just print output. Took a long time for me to figure out actually that I needed to <laughs> take the output and actually print it in order to get anything. Now when we have this large package, you, you expect of course that you download this package, you put it into a directory, and then you just run it and everything works, right? No. Uh, so this is the original package that you get. You get these 30k clean model, uh, 30 clean clean vocabulary, Albert config JSON, and then some models checkpoints here with the best intention of course. Uh, but those are not what we need. So the first of two here, 30k clean model and vocab, we can actually change the name of those. So this is the uh, end result. We change name for those to spice, S P I E C E model and vocab. So these two we just change the name of. Then the Albert config needs to be config JSON instead of Albert config. Nothing strange there. But these model uh, checkpoints can't be used directly. You could supply a, va a variable that says that you want to use the TensorFlow uh, model. But it doesn't really work. 
uh, at least at not in my testing. Perhaps you could change the name of these and get them to work. But I thought that the easiest way was to transform them into a PyTorch model binary. And in order to do that, we run this transformer here. So in the transformers, a different Git repository that we need to download, um, which is the main package for this one. So if you're searching for BERT transformer, you will find this on GitHub. So it's the main package for transformers for BERT. Uh, so transformers, source, transformers, models, Albert, and then we have convert Albert original TF checkpoint to PyTorch. A very descriptive name, I would say. And then we just supply the TF checkpoint path, which in this case is Albert large model checkpoint best. So the first part of this uh, file here. And then we have the Albert config file. This is in that directory, Albert config JSON. So this is this file up here. And then we have the dump path. And that's the file name of what we actually want to create. So the Albert XXX large slash PyTorf model bin. And when we've done that, we are able to run this directory. We have the right names of everything. We have the available resources in order to run this summarization. Uh, so this was a very quick video. I'm still a little bit sick. I'm uh, having a really bad cold um, with everything that entails, but I'm getting better. I'm trying to get material out again and I'm having this as my summer project because I'm on vacation now. So this is something that I'm looking into that I'm excited about. So I hope that you also are excited about this. Uh, leave me a comment in the comment section down below if you have worked with this before or if you are new to this and find this really exciting then please leave a comment about that. If you like this video give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. If you haven't subscribed yet please do that and I really hope to see you in the next one.